Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Mexico Tech. You are watching series Introduction to Graph Theory. In this video, we are going to specifically focus on directed graphs and its properties. A directed graph, which is an extension of the normal graph G, where we let edges to have explicit directions. More formally, a tuple V and A, which is a set of vertices and some arcs respectively, where each arc is connected from U to V hence joining the vertex U tail to another vertex V head. So this can represent one-way street in a street plan. It can represent asymmetric in social relationships like Alice like Bob, Bob does not like Alice, also representing asymmetry in communication networks and family networks like this is the child of this parent and that parent is the child of that grandparent, etc. An underlined graph is the one which is produced by removing all the arrows from the directed graph. Looking at some properties of the digraph, in here we have in degree and out degree. The number of arcs with the head on the vertex V are in degrees and the number of arcs with the tail on the vertex is known as out degree. In the given example V4 has one in degree and two out degrees. Similarly, we can count for all other vertices. An arc is represented by a vertex pair which is in directed order. So if a pair is V1, V2, that means that V1 is directed to V2. A theorem in directed graph properties includes for each element in the directed graph, the sum of all the vertex in degrees is always equal to the sum of all vertex out degrees, which eventually is equal to total number of arcs in the digraph. So let us prove this theorem by simply looking at the diagram in our previous slide. Here, if we count the total in degrees of the graph, which is one, two, three, four, five, and counting the out degrees is one, two, three, four, five. So in degrees is five, out degrees is five, and the total number of edges is also five, which is the fundamental property of the digraph. It can mathematically be written in this way. But let us get ourselves more clear by looking at the digraph adjacency matrices. So here the x-axis represents the in degrees and the y-axis represents the out degrees. V2 has an edge coming from V3 and V1. So we will put two ones in the first column under V2 here. Similarly, it goes for all of the vertices here. Note that this does not necessarily have to be asymmetric because this time two vertices cannot be linked with each other. They are linked in a directed way. So the theorem that we proved in our last slide is mathematically and more formally written as this. The summation column on the in degrees and the out degrees shows that the total in degree and the out degree is 5, which is always equal to the total number of arcs. A digraph is strict if and only if a ij, which is representing the green and the red boxes in the matrix, is less than or equal to 1, but greater than 0, and a ii, which is the gray, which is the gray curved line in the matrix, is zero. That indicates that there are no self loops and parallel edges. Similarly, looking at the digraph incidence matrix, which is a bit different than the undirected graph, where we mark the box of the matrix one if the vertex VI is the tail of arc AJ, minus one if the vertex VI is the head of the arc AJ, zero otherwise. The incidence matrix of digraph cannot capture the loops here, and for that reason it is rarely used. That is all for this video. If you have any questions, please mention them in the comments below. And if you think it was knowledgeable for you, please don't forget to like and do leave a comment and share with us your thoughts. And last but not least, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. This is going to keep us motivated to bring such useful stuff to you guys in the future. So till then, I will see you in the next one. Take care.